Hello everyone, this is Mr. Lowe. We are starting topic 13, which is uh, all about writing and interpreting numerical expressions. Uh, the essential question we're going to be talking about over the next couple of days is how is the value of a numerical expression found? And to do that, we are going to be utilizing something we are going to call the order of operations. And the order of operations, we use a mnemonic device that says PEMDAS. Um, some kids think of it as, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Um, not really the best way to do it, but it's not too bad. Anyways, the P in PEMDAS, and this is what you want to write down in your notebook. So you want to copy this page down. You might need to pause the video so that everybody can copy it down in the notes. The P stands for parentheses. So I solve in my problem any number or any equation or any operation that occurs inside parentheses first. That's the, always the first thing we want to do. Uh, after that, we look at exponents. Exponents are second, and exponents are going to be work problems that are going to look like 2 to the second power, 3 to the third power. Those are going to be exponents. So parentheses are going to look like that. Exponents are going to be like 3, whoops, 3 squared. That's an exponent. Then we get into multiplication and division. And multiplication and division occur at the same time in our problems. You want to look at the problem left to right, and it's whichever one shows up first. So in my math problem, if I have a multiplication symbol that shows left to right, like I'm reading the math problem, I do that one first. If it's addition or if it's division, then I do that one first. It's not always multiplication first. It's whichever of these two, multiplication or division, show up first. Addition and subtraction are going to be done the same way. So you're looking at a problem uh, if subtraction comes first you would do that if addition comes first you would do that we're going to do several examples um, just so we can kind of see kind of where we're at all right so let's go do our examples so this is going to be practice buddy this is going to be problem number one and we are going to work this one together so let me get my writing stuff ready to go and here we go so in your notebook, the first thing you are going to do is copy down the problem. So in my notebook, I write problem number one, I put a circle on it, and I copy this whole thing in my notes. Two, whoa, two plus six times nine divided by three. And I ask myself, do I see, I might, you probably want to even write down PEMDAS across the top because you can check things off here make sure we're doing it right um, do are there any parentheses nope so I can put a little check mark next to that are there any exponents nope I can put a little check mark next to that remember multiplication and division occur together and I see multiplication occurs first so now I need to solve 6 times 9 and 6 times 9 is 54. So I write that down, 54. And I bring everything else down. 2 plus 54 divided by 3. This step, bringing everything else down that you did not solve, is going to be crucial because as the problems get more complicated, you're going to make mistakes. We want to do one operation on one line at one time. So next, I do division, because that comes next. So now I have to do 54 divided by 3. And you may have to go off to the side and do 54 divided by 3. 3 goes into 5 once. I subtract. I get 2. I bring down my 4. 3 goes into 24 eight times. So 54 divided by 3 is 18. And I bring down my plus 2. 2 plus. Now I want to solve this last part. This is my addition and subtraction. So those are done. I'm looking at addition and subtraction. I have addition comes first. There is no subtraction, which is kind of nice. And we do 18 plus 2. And we get 20. And now we will check, see if we are correct. And we get a nice work, which means, yes, we are right. So that's really, really good. Let's do another example just to kind of get us used to, again, where we're going. Aha. 
Here's a good one because now we have parentheses. So again, in your notebooks, you want to solve and, and write this down. We're going to go problem number two, put a circle around it, and I want to copy this in my notes. Two times six plus parenthesis two times 15. Now, according to the order of operations, P stands for parentheses. I have to do this in parentheses first. Even if that was an addition sign, it's still in my parentheses first. I have to solve that one first. 2 times 15 is 30, and we're going to copy everything else down. 2 times 6, and I bring that plus sign down, because 2 times 15 is 30. Now, are there any exponents? Nope, we're done. Multiplication or division. We want to circle that and put a check mark next to it because we're going to multiply. 2 times 6 is 12, and I bring down my plus sign, and I bring down my 30. The last thing we're doing is this addition and subtraction, and we have to add, and 12 plus 30 is 42. So that should be our answer. And we get another good job. So for today, guys, you are working through order of operations. You are using PEMDAS um, to help us solve this these equations. You are going to need to write down every single problem in our notebook. You want to solve it in a manner that looks like this. I call this an ice cream cone method because it kind of, after you're done, looks like an ice cream cone. So we'll use that strategy to kind of help us out too. Um, Let's see what some of our other problems look like. So again, there's a parentheses that we're going to need to solve first. Here's one that's kind of got a lot of stuff involved in it. Um, as long as you're using the your order of operations, let's go ahead and do this one too. Uh, this will be our last one. So this is going to be problem number four. And I'm going to choose... To write PEMDAS, that's supposed to be a, that's terrible. Let's try this again. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So we want to uh, go ahead and write down, copy down the problem. This is problem number four. We're doing five divided by nine minus four parenthesis, plus 5 times 3. We want to solve parentheses first. That means we have to do that problem first. And 9 minus 4 is 5. And now I bring down everything else. 5 divided by, there's my answer, 5, plus 5 times 3. Now. This is kind of the fun part. So we did our parentheses. We don't have any exponents. We're looking at multiplication and division, left to right, which one comes first. Well, in this problem, it's division. Division comes first, so we have to do this, 5 divided by 5, first, before we solve anything else. So we do 5 divided by 5. That is 1 plus 5 times 3. Then we have our multiplication problem, because that comes before we do any of the additions. 5 times 3 is 15, and 15 plus 1 is 16. So now, this is kind of neat. This is one of the things that I like about these types of problems, is you get something that's really, really big and looks really, really complicated, and we get it down to an answer that I think is much more reasonable for us to understand. So, good job. You guys are going to go ahead and start 13.1 homework buddy um, and then uh, make sure you copy down your homework some of you will have an adaptive homework to do some of you will not um, but that's kind of the way it works so uh, make sure you get your homework done I will be checking in uh, at night and I will be checking in in the morning to make sure that your work is finished